How you doing, Russell? I hope things are going well with you today. I'll try to go through some of this stuff. I'll explain how I put the wheel together, and then I'll go through the two options as far as uh, how the shaft works and things like that. I think I've come up with something that may work to hold your throttle still. Uh, you can look at it. Just let me know if you think it'll work. If it does, then I'll do the soldering that I explained in here. If not, um, I'll go back to the wheel where the throttle will not turn. So, at any rate, I'm going to put your, the picture down here a little bit now. You can see on the table here are a number of parts for a steering wheel. Uh, first, I'm going to put together the wheel and then we'll play with the two different shafts and uh, I'll show you what uh, we can do with those. So, as far as assembling the wheel, it's really fairly simple. You start out with this part, which is the rear hub. It's turned out of brass, obviously, and uh, it's got, and it's hard to see in here, but right there are, for instance, four holes. It's got the four holes 120 degrees apart to hold the spokes on the back of the wheel. So the spokes are here in this uh, little lid right now. So all you do is you take, and first of all, you load up all four spokes in the wheel. They got to slide in because you're going to then notch them into the outer rim where the holes are drilled at that point. Uh, once you get all the spokes started in the rear hub. Yep. Try to get into the picture here where you can see it, I'm sorry. I'm looking at what I'm doing and not at the picture. Uh, let me try to zoom in a little bit here, hang on. Try to get things lined up where I can actually do things. There, that's a little better. I think you can see a bit better there. Okay, um, there's four spokes into the wheel at that point. Got to put the other eight spokes in. And again, they all just slide in here further than they need to be to start. And I think I'll do two videos with this thing. I'll do one here so that it doesn't get too long to upload it on just how the wheel goes together. And then I'll do a uh, second one that shows the options on the shaft, uh, the two different shafts. So it'll take a couple of minutes to get this thing together because you got to keep all these things in place as you play with this thing. It gets a little bit fiddly as you go along here. But you got to get all 12 spokes into the wheel. And I apologize in advance if you hear cars in the background. I'm working in the garage with the door open because it's pretty warm out here today. So I live on a street that's the main entrance into our development here, so we do get a bit of traffic on that. Okay, so I've got uh, all 12 spokes in the in the rear hub of the wheel at this point. Now it's going to be a matter of getting this to have those go into the outer part of the wheel. And that's just a matter of, again, trying to line everything up and getting those each of the pins into the four little holes that are in the outer rim of the wheel here. And again, it's hard to get a picture that shows what I'm doing. Um, I got to get my face pretty close here because I can't see worth beans anymore. There, those four are now in. Of course, two of them are back out already, but that's okay. And it's start one on each of the three sides right now. I think that works easier to hold things in place a bit.
Okay, work this this uh, third of the wheel here now. Now my plan is when I put this together finally after it's painted, as I do this, I'm going to put a little dab of super glue on the end of each of these to glue them into the end here as, as I do this so that uh, they tend to stay a little bit better. These pockets are only uh, you know a few thousandths deep, so there's not a lot of purchase when you when you put the pins inside there. Okay. So they're all in, they're all lined up, and as I said, the wheel tends to self-center itself, but when I do this the final time, I'll put it on a little jig so I'm sure that everything is centered perfectly. So now we've got the wheel. I don't know if that's focusing because I don't have my glasses on. Hang on here. Um, well, it's not real there. That's better focus. Oops, got one spoke out here. Hang on. Okay, so those will be glued in with a dab of super glue on each one as we go. Then once this is done, the next thing is the center part of the horn ring, which is this part here. If you can see on there, I've got three uh, semicircular pockets milled into this. Those pockets um, allow the spokes that are sticking into the wheel hub here, the pockets will circle around those. And uh, actually when I do this I tend to sort the uh, the spokes out a little bit because they are different lengths and I put the longer ones in the center, the shorter ones on the outside so that they fit into the pockets better. So then this obviously gets lined up so that the three spokes of the uh, horn rim match up to the spokes on the steering wheel and if everything is together right this will actually snap down on there but naturally I probably didn't put these spokes in the right spots and maybe my pockets won't fit here just because I'm showing you how to do this but again it's not that complicated when I go to put it together but that snaps down right there the spokes go over the pockets so that basically puts the wheel together and then uh, the first shaft that I made for you, which is a, a replacement for your solid shaft, I do have the keyed area on the back end here. I've got it threaded on this end, which is where the throttle uh, lever would screw into it if you left it with a stationary throttle. Then I also remade your shaft. This is your old shaft here from your gear set to have a very nice pocket on the inside of it in there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see the pocket in there. At any rate, when you put this in and you line it up, sure, there, it snaps in very nicely and you get a very solid, very stable platform with that. So once that's done, there's a uh, small ring that I still need to solder onto this shaft and of course I don't know where it's at at the moment. Um, at any rate, there's a small ring that gets soldered onto here which is the backing plate it gets soldered onto here which is the backing plate for the rear hub so that when this goes on it keys to the proper position so once the ring is soldered on, this will only go on as far as the ring is on here. So when you put the horn hub, the horn ring on, and that's against the soldered on little uh, bushing there, then you would take the plastic center trim piece, which will be painted the off-white, goes into the center of the hub, the throttle lever would go in and then this screws right down onto the shaft of the steering column and as you start getting it towards tight you have to make sure everything is locked down 
and this is in proper position, then you can use the throttle lever to tighten this up. And so that's how it goes together. And uh, that's the end of this particular part of the video. So that would be all together. And again, it'll be glued. I'll put a little super glue on the spokes on the inside of the hub so that nothing moves at that point. So the, the hub and the, the uh, spokes and the back part of the wheel will be one piece when you get it. So I'll pick up again and we'll talk about the two different shafts.